Hello, Daniel Lessard here. Uh, I've got quite a few viewer requests about the pyro box, the uh, little switch box that I use to um, direct power to the charges when I'm running my remote ignition system. So, I thought I may as well um, post a quick circuit diagram and explanation of how the box works and uh, its basic construction. So, uh, as you can see in this image here, I have included a brief legend of what each component is and how they are all uh, related on the circuit box. Um, now you can also see the channel selectors CH1, CH2, CH3, CH4 those are the channel selectors, safety and the fire slot. So when preparing to fire the charge I first flip on the channel selector that I wish to fire. In this case channel 1 is the only one with a charge connected to it in the form of resistor, which could be niachrome or copper wire. So I'll flip on my channel switch and I will flip off my safety by completing the circuit on the safety. The box cannot fire until I press the fire switch. When I wish to fire the charge, I will close the fire selector switch. This will complete the circuit and allow the positive and negative end of the battery to finish contact. This will run all the power through that one resistor. The resistor will begin to heat up and my charge should go off. If all goes well, in a fraction of a second, the resistor should reach the ignition temperature of the gunpowder and the charge should ignite. If this happens, then you have a successful ignition. After the charge goes off, the resistor should break due to overheating. This will stop the circuit from being completed and will stop your battery from overheating or shorting out. However, it is always good practice to turn off the channel selector switch to ensure that you don't short out your battery. I use a 12 volt motorcycle battery to light off my charges. However, you can use nickel metal hydrate or NICAD batteries if you really want to. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, Daniel the Sard 2.